Flyers on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. General, what do you think about the FBI saying that there's a terror alert on Monday about a potential Fort Hood situation? The police are shoving people, shoving Alex, shoving the crowd. Here we go, folks. I'm being assaulted. Whether it's the radio show, the news websites, documentary films, or the nightly news, InfoWars is the tip of the spear. Is this another false flag stage attack to take our civil liberties and put more homeland security while sticking their hands down on the pants on the streets? It's up to us to set brush fires in the minds of men and women everywhere. And that's what PrisonPlanet.tv is designed to do. You watch the Assad regime is going to be blamed or accused of using chemical weapons against the so-called rebels. What we see now is a war against reality. It's a war against the truth. It's more vital than ever that supporters of freedom become members of PrisonPlanet.tv and share their membership with up to 11 friends and family. Visit InfoWarsNews.com today. Become a member, share your membership, and help take the InfoWar to the next level. I don't know what it is. Ralph just won't pay any attention to me. When he comes home from work, all he ever does is play video games and go to sleep. It's like I don't even exist. Oh, Betty, that's just awful. Does this seem familiar? If the answer to this question is yes, then listen carefully. Toxic pesticides, GMO foods and additives, BPA plastics, contaminated water supplies, many of these toxic additives are deliberately engineered to attack and weaken human masculinity. It's part of the eugenics population control movement. Look it up. If men are more interested in online gaming than they are in their wives. A serious population crisis is soon to follow. Energize the man in your life with super male vitality from InfoWarsLife.com. It's designed to aid the body in ways that help invigorate your natural systems without artificial testosterone, completely free of GMOs, harmful additives, gluten, and is made right here in the USA. Get your super male vitality right now at InfoWarsLife.com or call 1-888-253-3139. A chemical spill contaminating the water supply in nine West Virginia counties. This year alone, over 300,000 people in West Virginia had their drinking water contaminated. What are the health effects of having these drugs in our drinking water? It's forced medical treatment without the consent of residents. My friends, water filtration is one of the most basic actions you can take to protect you and your family from the harmful toxins and heavy metals in your tap water. On average, the county says it sprays with the glyphosate at least once a week. Few filters cut out the glyphosate that is found in water supply worldwide. Remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, hydrofluorosilicic acid, sodium hexafluorosilicate. Fluoride it is in tea, it's in coffee, it's in water, it's in bread, it's in toothpaste. It is our responsibility to protect our families. The establishment's not going to do it. It's time to take action. It's time to filter our water. Visit InfoWarsStore.com and use promo code WATER to get 10% off their entire family of incredible products. Or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Listening to an InfoWars.com frontline report. If you are receiving this transmission, you are the resistance. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight here as your host, and I just had John Bound come in and give me a message from Leanne McAdoo. She told me that actually Snowden did give information to the enemy. The enemy, of course, from the government's perspective, is the American people. So I stand corrected. I think <laughs> that's absolutely true. Perfect. Now, I've got on the phone, and, and hang on for just a little bit longer, if you will, Darcy from Canada. He was giving us some information about things that people could do, things that you can do to maintain your privacy. And I think we all need to do that as a, as a way to just resist this illegal tyranny that's being put on us that we've been made aware of with the Ed Snowden leaks. It's essentially become uh, widespread knowledge now. We were telling you about it for a very long time. Alex was telling you that they're spying on you, that they're watching you through your monitors, that they're recording everything that you're saying. That they're, And David Petraeus told us well before the leaks that they were going to use your appliances, the what they call the Internet of Things. They were going to use that to spy on you. You know, you think you've got automated house controls. Well, that's one level. That's the most obvious level. That's what you're using it for. They're using it for something completely different. 
just like they use your iPhone, just like they laugh at the American public that we queue up in lines in order to buy our 1984 devices. They laughed about that in slides that were part of the Snowden leak. So it's a lot of very valuable information. What are we going to do with it? We can't get the NSA to stop doing it. We can't get our senators to do anything about it. But there are some steps that we can take individually. And I want to talk to Darcy from Canada about PSK 31. Before we do, I want to uh, do a little bit of uh, housekeeping here. This half hour of the Alex Jones Show is brought to you by Super Female Vitality. If you've tried Super Male Vitality, you've heard what it does for men. Super Female Vitality brings these benefits to women to an even greater degree. You know, women are under attack by artificial estrogen chemicals even more so than men. And this hormone imbalance leads to weight gain as well as depression. So it's a great product that you can use. Try that. It helps to support our operation as well as Survival Shield X2. And we're going to have a very special report tomorrow. We're going to show you these crystals, these iodine crystals that are harvested at more than 7,000 feet below the earth. Below the Fukushima ground effects, we test them for radiation. We're going to show you those crystals as well as the factory. There's going to be a, a tour of that tomorrow. Some of the information we're going to have on the show tomorrow. Don't miss it. That's going to be fascinating. But Survival Shield X2 available now at InfoWarsStore.com. It's a way that you can support our operation here. We're not funded by the government. We're funded by offering you products that help you as well as help us. It's a win-win situation. Now, I want to go back to uh, Darcy in Canada. Darcy, you were telling us about PSK31. You said it was a digital mode operating over shortwave. Explain that to us a little bit. Do you need uh, special hardware, or is it uh, besides your shortwave radio? If you're if you're operating with um, with uh, there's a few portable uh, shortwave radio models that uh, that work quite well with that. Like ICOM uh, has one, uh, Yesu I think is another manufacturer. Um, but they there's a rig blaster device. It's a small hundred dollar unit that interfaces through USB to your mm -hmm. sound card between the uh, the radio, and it'll it'll actually do the phase shift keying for your handset. Okay. And it'll uh, it'll allow you to operate in the digital mode. Basically, you type in your uh, what you want to send out, and it does all the translation, almost like a teletype in a way. Um, and and actually, beyond PSK31, there's other modes that uh, like Q15X25, and you can do a quick uh, search on these on Wikipedia. Right. Yeah, we don't want to get too technical on it because yeah. people are listening on the radio. But it's important for people to know that there are ways that they can get on the internet that circumvent these pipes. And, and that's something, thank you, Darcy and Canada, that's something that's very important because we're seeing an all-out threat against the Internet. This month's InfoWars magazine talks about the death of the Internet. Take a picture of this, guys, this uh, magazine here. Death of the Internet. And uh, that's our magazine this month. Alex created the magazine as another way, an alternative way to get information out there in case they do shut the Internet down. And, of course, We've been talking all week about free speech. We've been talking about how governments can effectively shut down any discussion of uh, things like Bilderberg pretend that it doesn't exist, just as the Chinese government pretended that the Tiananmen Square massacre didn't exist. Now, 25 years later, you've got a generation of people that have never even heard of it. When they were shown a picture of the famous tank man, they said, uh, is, is that a parade? Is that uh, your artwork? What, what is that? They had no idea what that was about. So governments and government-controlled press, and make no mistake about it, we have that here in this country, can very effectively shut down information to the public just by pretending that it doesn't exist, just by ridiculing as a conspiracy theory any information that people might get out about something that they're not reporting on for years, for decades we had television dominated by only three stations, three networks, major networks. And they were essentially on the same page. So if these guys didn't talk about it, then and you heard some information from somebody else, clearly that wasn't true because they were all reading off of the same script. It was only when the Fairness Doctrine, which hadn't been imposed by the FCC, it was only when the Fairness Doctrine was taken away in the Reagan administration that we had the rise of talk radio, and people heard a different voice. They heard an independent voice. Then after that, we had the rise of the Internet, and they got even more of that. 
Now they're trying to shut that down. They're not only talking about shutting down the fairness doctrine, but they're also working in many different ways to shut down the internet. That's what this magazine is about, the death of the internet, the many ways that they can do that. And the reason I had Darcy from Canada talk about the uh, way that you can get digital signals over a shortwave radio, and you can Google that yourself and see how to do that. The reason I had him talk about that a little bit more in detail is because what we can see, what, what may happen with the FCC now is with the net neutrality regulations, once they allow certain mega corporations to have much, much faster internet than other people, that's going to be tantamount to shutting down, effectively shutting down these alternative media outlets. It's going to make it difficult for us to compete. It's going to make it impossible for many of you out there who are independent Paul Revere's, independent bloggers. It's going to make it difficult, if not impossible, for you to get your information out there because people are going to get accustomed to high-speed internet. Who can stand going back to, say, let's say, dial-up speed if you're accustomed to broadband? You are not going to want to browse those sites that are incredibly slow. They're going to look like they're frozen. They're going to look like they're not working. This is being driven by Comcast and Verizon and the people who are running the infrastructure of the Internet. They're the ones controlling the pipes. They want this. The people don't want it. And in most cases, the Internet provider, the content providers, people like Google and others even oppose this. There was an interesting thing that happened yesterday, there was a comedian, John Oliver. He went on a net neutrality rant. He had about a 13-minute uh, skit talking about net neutrality. And he said, the most dangerous thing is that the government can do the worst things to us and get away with it because they make it boring and they make it technical. And so what he did was he worked against that. Let's play a little bit of a clip of that. We can't play too much of it because it's like 13 minutes long. But let's play a little bit of that right now to give people a sample of that is so egregious, activists and corporations have been forced onto the same side. That's basically Lex Luthor knocking on Superman's apartment door and going, listen, I know we have our differences, but we have got to get rid of that arsehole in apartment 3B. <laughs> he's, he's exactly. And that we have our disagreements. We have, I have disagreements with John Oliver on many issues, but we need to all come together and we need to, we need to push back against the police state. We need to push back against the loss of free speech. And they can take our free speech any number of ways. We've seen with SOPA, CISPA, ACTA, PIPA, we had to defeat CISPA twice. And now it's coming at us through these trade partnerships, the Trans-Pacific Partnership, the Transatlantic Partnership. They're trying to bring these same control techniques in through the back door. So yes, we, we have very important differences on certain things, but just like Superman and Lex Luthor, we need to come together and we need to stop the police state. We need to stop Big Brother, the surveillance state. We need to work together on this. And we need to, uh, to me, that's, that's one of the most important things about the Snowden leaks. And I think it's a real litmus test to see who the real people are, the people that are controlled, the people who want to control everything about our society, the people who are really the authoritarians in society, the people who want a militarized police and use the police uh, in, a, in a militarized way to use the military as police. We need to root out the people who are going to take away our court systems, who are going to impose this kind of surveillance on us at the same time that they censor our free speech. Let's go to uh, some of your calls and comments. Let's, uh, Cindy and FEMA Region 3, you had something you wanted to say about the Bergdahl incident. Cindy? Yeah, hi, David. You're a good man. Um, Thank you. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, to back up one second, the man who called in from Oregon, he was saying about his representative. Yes. We have the same thing over here, Senator Pat Toomey. He was a Tea Party candidate, and when he got in there, he turned coats so fast. I, e mm -hmm. I emailed his office, called his office, and said they needed to uh, get rid of the Patriot Act. And he was like, oh, no, we have to have the Patriot Act. Oh, yeah. Oh, you yeah. know, and then this is to me. It, it just blew me away. I just want to recall all of them. Yes, And that's yes. this, this blade all guy. He, and, that, he, and, and, and let me interject there, too. That's what I was just saying is that, you know, there, there are some real differences between Pat Toomey and some of the Democrats. 
But when we get to the point where we're going to allow the government unrestrained police powers, we're going to lose our basic freedoms, we're going to lose our due process, where they're going to be able to do anything to us, violate any law with immunity, where everything is secret, there is no transparency, 